What's up? Jack, when you get up. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing a hat underneath the hood. Yes, get over it, it's fine. Uh, it's extra layer of protection against the rain. If you can't tell, it's raining very heavily and I'm <laughs> shouting to get my message across. Um, it is really heavy rain. I did have a cold this morning. I have checked the COVID test, it is negative. Um, so it is like a smart idea for me to run in the rain with a cold. But it's my, part of my plan. I'm going to show up for myself. I still want to run. So whoever's out there having a tough day, raining, whatever, put yourself out there, get yourself out for a run or any exercise, and trust me, you'll hopefully feel better for training for yourself. Um, I'm like 90% sure, but right now I am completely soaked and I'm not even <laughs> still on my run. Um, it's going to be a short run today. I'm cutting down my program this week just to help get my long mileage this weekend. So it's going to be a fun one. I might hit a PB, who knows, it's current rain. It's really heavy. There's a running group over there, which is, looks like they're having a great time. That's the train, not thunder. I was really scared for a minute. Um, but yeah, if you ever run with someone of need something to run in London or in the UK, let me know. I'd love to run with you. Or give me comments. Happy to talk about it. Anyway, it's getting heavier and so you get moving. See you in a bit. Run done. <laughs> you can't tell I'm soaked. Um, yeah, this one just really shines. It's actually just purely damp now. Um, the heavens did open. <laughs> but we made it through. Yeah, what I said before, run. Run in the rain when it's safe to do so, not like when it's like a thunderstorm, like lightning or anything going on. Definitely not advisable. And uh, make sure the right stuff equipment with you or if you're familiar with it, because some of the routes here today were really, really slippery. So it was my fastest run, unsurprisingly. I had just under 4K um, in 30 minutes, which yeah, give or take is not a bad performance. Obviously I'd like it to be faster, but it's rest day today. Oh, not rest day. It's it's been a difficult day with this cold, with the weather, and I'm making excuses, but I think I've earned some of them. Um, but yeah, run done. We show up, that's the most important thing. And to be honest, I think what I've noticed in this process is the more you show up for yourself, the more you get from it. Even if it's a terrible run, a terrible day, you can even give you a five or 10 effort, it's a progressive build up and you'll benefit from it massively. I found some ways to help focus my mind and it really helped me think about my longer runs, what I need to do. So it's all, all good learning, all good training. And unsurprisingly, the park is quiet. So amazing some deers run around here and um, just have the space to even just look around and not worry about who you're gonna like jog into or any cyclists. So yeah, recommend it. Not all the time. I think I've been very privileged in the last few months uh, to have good weather when st whilst training. I think we're in maybe a handful of times, which is one of the benefits, I guess, of the marathon being in October. Just there's been less challenges from the weather during the summer months. I've heard from other runners like for the April traditional London marathon schedule. You're, in winter time, you're wearing a low light. You've got more likely rain or snow or just general dirt on the path. So it's more difficult to train. So I've been very privileged that the marathon is um, this side of the year. Please get out there get your excess done I'd love to know what you're doing and if you're struggling yeah again just message, drop your message or leave a comment below uh, I'd love to talk to you guys about your fitness journey peace hello hello we get this evening good evening so you can't tell that I'm in Germany um this is what I was planning my vlog last week uh, but we're back so <laughs> here we go so yeah I'm actually Gonna run through the city. I'm not sure been here before, so I'm actually quite excited. Um, my my calf has been killing me. There's I think a nerve right underneath between my shin and my calf, which has been troubling me. Just not ideal. So yeah, I'm a bit annoying, a bit nervous. I also a bit of my knee soreness when I was warming up. So not ideal conditions. And it's a lot colder here, and I do still have a cold, which is getting better, but not ideal. So yeah, instead of doing a long run today, I'm gonna do. So I short to run. I get to save some of the mileage for Sunday, but also just to help hit some off my feet and maybe just explore the area, but not be too stressed about the pace. So yeah, low skates. Thursday, 8th October, 2022, 8.04 p.m. Round up. But it's not uh, been a normal kind of run today. Um, I was having a really bad injury in my leg and I was 
Between the better during my run and halfway through, I think around 7.37, um, I saw my friend's WhatsApp group, the Queen died today, or oh, just oh, the, oh, the announcement was made, and yeah, pretty changed up the run. I'm running on that on your emotions is really weird. <laughs> it's something I advise. Um, I know not everyone's a big fan of the monarchy, uh, but it's just something else about it more than, than just the monarchy. Uh, for the Queen specifically, I think, especially as a legacy for the UK as a state head and kind of the consistency she's had for us is awesome uh, and across the world as well. So, I don't know, it really hit differently, the news. And yeah, it was just a very difficult run, which might sound odd. I don't know, every, every person has an association with the Queen and I personally don't know her directly. Um, but I think we just a lot of emotions with it. I mean, running for charity that uh, um, helps save lives. He's here to go again. Uh, running for charity that helps save lives really uh, puts into context what your money has done. I'm really proud to be running this run on that behalf, on your behalf. Uh, this weekend, my plan was to actually finish a uh, training run in front of, in front of Buckingham Palace. I actually plan the route to get familiar with the marathon course. Um, it might not feel the same um, as it did. That's what I've done maybe when I planned it earlier, mentally. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be weird having I mean, to go past the marathon now without um, the Queen's kind of stay there, knowing that she's there in Buckingham Palace. Yeah, it's been a difficult run. But thank you again. Thank you so much for your donations. To be the champion for Great Ormond Street Hospital and to get so much support from you guys to get even five pounds, to hit the past two thousand pounds, knowing how much money that will change a life and a family's life and that experience is amazing. Um so yeah, I know I've said before every week in the programme and the process, but thank you for investing your time and money into following me on this journey and into helping change a family's life somewhere. So yeah, I really appreciate it. I don't know how much this vlog is audible, but I wanted to capture it because um, being closely in the process and it's been a difficult month. I know a lot of runners I've spoken to have really struggled in the last month for motivation or hitting with the mental wall, of like why am I training or just dealing with injuries or pulling out last minute and it's, it's been a hectic month I've seen across the running group, so <sighs> not everyone sees the pain of the process, and that's why I've uh, captured it as uh, best I can. Um, but sometimes you run like this, where you <laughs> just get hit by something different, and it doesn't necessarily feel the same. <sighs> so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I will <laughs> still record on Sunday. You'll still see my run. Um, so don't don't tune off yet. And uh, yeah, take care everyone, and I'll see you on my long run. Bye bye. Morning, morning. If you can't tell, I'm my running vest today. So I'm actually doing my long run on Sunday. I thought I'd prepare with uh, actually trying out my marathon vest and being familiar with it as well. It's a bit colder today as well this morning, but we still give it our best shot. Um, if you can't tell, my throat is quite sore. Um, I do have a cold, so it's not ideal. <laughs> um, I, I was feeling better, but on Friday, but it just seemed to have stagnated. Um, so hopefully, I can run this cold. Uh, so it's currently 9:50 ish, near enough, and I'm by the Kati Sark over there, of oh, one of the marine colleges here in Greenwich. So. Uh, the Cutty Stock is actually a famous ship in London that I believe burnt down uh, several years ago. It got on a massive reconstruction and reopened a few years ago. So was, I've not been here in years as an area generally, so it's actually quite nice to be able to explore it. So today I'm going to actually run most of the marathon route where I can. I'm running 30k, so the Cutty Stock is actually the 10k point. I'm going to get familiar with the route where I can, maybe ad lib, just obviously depending on the traffic and roads, etc. Um, but it'd be good, nice little sighter into the marathon and 
That's like my fueling, my training, like where I need to rest, where I need to recover, where I need to sprint more, where to hydrate, where I need to eat, eat my jelly beans, <laughs> all those kind of things. So it's gonna be a really good training session, hopefully. And my aim is to beat Big Ben. So this is actually gonna be a race for me. I'm gonna try and race Big Ben. So I'm, I'm gonna do this around four hours. Uh, so I want to get to Big Ben before the two o'clock time. That is my goal. So we'll see how the race goes. And even, hopefully I try to check in as well a few times. So yeah, I'll see you. Fingers crossed before Big Ben rings. <laughs> One hour in, just past Rotherhide Station. You can't tell us it's a hard workout. It's quite warm today. And cold is really pushing me to my limits. Plus, I have a nice glow though. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, there's a big hill by um, earlier on, and rather had this big loop I was doing. And my god, it's after a few minutes, it's, it's painful because what you're doing is climbing. So, it's a reminder for myself for the actual race day. But it's a gorgeous area. So many new things I've seen today. And uh, yeah, nothing too bad. Had some jelly beans, had some Lucozaid, and to hydrate more and get ready for the next hour. So let's get to it. See, you hopefully, past Tower Bridge. What's up? Two hours done. So, halfway through my run, near enough. I'm back at Canary Wharf, where I had started seeing this area on, on, the, on the tube here. So, it's a bit weird going back to where you. To start your journey from, but it's okay. Uh, so I know the area a bit. Saying that, I have got lost <laughs> in the fact, in the terms of the road thing was closed where I was supposed to be running, so I ended up taking a slightly curtailed route. So I'm actually just south of Canary Wharf Station, which is not ideal because it means I've lost some of the inner loopings of the area, which is fine. But what I have to do is just find a bridge to get across the little river and hopefully we're able to find a way back home but to eat big, a way to beat Big Ben I think at the current pace I could do it the last hour has been quite interesting it's been a huge area has been blocked by the police on the route so it's a private road it's also really worrying because with no clothes going on in the area. Tower, Tower Bridge onwards is a very uphill, so remember that for the run. It's not getting any easier at that point in time. It's to make like a small hill, but my god, off like an hour running, an hour and a half. It's like a mountain. Anyway, by this fancy building, which looks quite nice actually. I'm guessing it's a Popman block. I've seen so much London already that's new for me, so. Yeah, let's get to uh, another hour. We've got this. Looking at that, it's a bridge there. So I think we've got this. Wish me luck. Three hour mark. Not looking the best right now. My legs are sore. I'm sore everywhere. I'm really dehydrated. I try and drink as much as I can and eat where I can recover where I have from lost route. So yeah, difficult one. I think I'm end up walking more this hour. I just physically it's a really, really big challenge. And the thing at this point now, I should, I should run another 10 kilometers in the actual race day. Absolutely mental. So sit rep, feet hurt, I've had one and a half pack of jelly beans, one gel and one lucid bottle and nearly half of each of the other ones. So the ring hours will be very challenging. Primarily dehydration, I think for me, it's not the most hydrated, but what I really want is water and water and water. Honestly, if you have water right now, it's a privilege. <laughs> anyway, let's try and be Big Ben. I think it's a really tough one, but we will persevere. Let's go get this hour. So 
done. Four hours done. Four hours twenty done actually. I'm knackered. I'm actually near Buckingham Palace. It's been really hard for the last few minutes. Just a lot of people here. It's crazy. A lot of police and security. Yeah, unbelievable. It's great to see the amount of respect being paid. I've never seen this many people in London. This is probably pre-COVID. That probably been like a Christmas shopping event almost. <sighs> yeah, everyone was good. I did beat my time to Big Ben. You see the picture? I did beat Big Ben. However, right, I had to come clean. Obviously, my route was slightly adjusted, so it wasn't the full 30k to Big Ben. It was around 20, 26, 27, uh, 8, 27 kilometers. But I was still coming as a win because I actually managed to make that distance. It was hard. My legs are really shattered. I'm going to find some water now. Let's pick up jelly beans. I've had three Lucas Aids and one Lucas Aid gel. But yeah, it was a really good run. It is one of the hardest runs I've done. I guaranteed last week at 24k, this is 30k. It shouldn't be much longer, but it was. And it, it's that fatigue, it's that pain, it's that exhaustion. That part of it. We did it, we did 30k in the vest. So we got we got that, we got the blame out there of Project, oh my gosh, and there's charity, help people donate. So yeah, very happy with that. And also seen so much of London today. I've seen much of London I've never seen before and got lost new cards and yeah, it was amazing. So one of the toughest runs I've done. I think I started making some opti optimistic, but sometimes in the run it was more so brutal. It was just painful and I'm still uh, hurting from it right now, to be honest. I think about this right now since I've seen it on the run is uh, there's a place called Ivory Ivory, Ivory House in London near St. Catherine's Docks. The two elephant sculptures on the gate. I would have something more exciting planned, but as a fact, but I am really shattered. And also, I'm pretty sure I'd, I don't know if I was hallucinating by the end or not. But the more people I saw at the end of my run, looked, it just looked more and more confusing to me. I'm pretty sure I saw a guy that, like a a, um, a fire red beard, like he was dyed, but like a gradient. I've never seen that before, it looked really cool. And he's wearing this paisley suit, and I was like, This is really cool, but I don't know if I'm imagining it. So my knees are really hurting, like, especially it's weird to say with my left outside knee. I feel like the ligament, ten, ligament tendon is really sore, or loose maybe. And the one on my right one is really sore. My calves are sore, my feet are freaking sore. I have it to the run, I want just to get himself was all I think I saw because it was really that bad. Her really hot at some point, some points, but like my arms were tingly just because of they were just really hot and I was really dehydrated and they're moving in different positions stance and I tried to grab something and yeah it really changed um the way they felt. So apologies it's not the best film vlog. <laughs> I'm really am putting an effort to stand up. Is no this is so brutal. <sighs> it's a brutal sport but trust me it's been a, a good journey. So yeah, time to find and scavenge some water. I hope you enjoyed this cut style of uh, race, and uh, hopefully next few weeks will get easier before the actual marathon day. This is my last long peak run. So yeah, let's we'll see how it goes. Time for taper. So time for nice cold baths. Time for lots of carbs. Time for lots of sleep. Time for very long running, <laughs> and uh, yeah, time for this recovery. So I'm really looking forward. To it. I'll see you next week. Peace.